Hello guys, welcome again to the Android PHP MySQL video tutorial series. In the last video, we have created this class DB Connect, and uh, now we need one more PHP class. And this class will organize all the database operations at one place. So create one more file here, and I will save it as DB Operations dot PHP. So the first thing we need inside this class is the con object oops let's create a class first class db operation and the variable con inside the constructor of the class we will initialize this variable con so create a constructor and to get this variable initialized from this class which we created in the last video db connect we first need to import this file in this file so again write require once then again our name and we can pass the predefined constant file here and then we will concatenate the file name that contains the class and that is db connect dot php so we have the db connect class in this file and now we just need to create a new db connect object and from this object we can get the connection link so we will write this dot con that means this con variable will be equal to db from this object we will call this method connect and this method is returning the con variable up here and so write connect here so hope you understood the code we first created the db connect object and with the object we are calling this method of the class and this method is returning as the mysql database link so this link is getting stored inside this and whenever we will create an object of this db operation class the constructor will be invoked and this con variable will be initialized now for the other method we will create all the other method needed to perform the database operations so the first operation we need is we are learning crud and the first operation is c which means create and that means we will insert a record in this database table so for this create a method function create user so for creating user we need username password and email so we will pass username password and email and whenever we will call this method we will pass these three parameters username password and email to create a new user so now first encrypt the password so let's name it pass and password will be md5 of pass so this will encrypt the password in hash 5 and then we will create a statement so create a variable named it anything i named stmt and then we will call this object con and with this object we will call a method name prepare and it will prepare a sql query for us so here we will write the insert query uh, if you don't know the insert query then go to the database click on insert and write here suppose bilal password 1234 and email and click on go and you will get the query over here now this method is good because you will not do an error on writing a SQL query so paste it here 
and then for the values put question marks now we will bind the actual parameters that is needed for the query and we can use it uh, we can bind the parameters using the bind param method so with this object this stmt object we will call a method named bind underscore param and the first parameter will take the data types of this parameters that we need to bind so all these three parameters are of string type so we will write three s here and then what needs to be binded in the sql query so the first is username this question mark and the other one is password so we don't need a quote over here password and then email so we have binded the parameter to the SQL query and then we will execute the query to the database. For this we will simply call the method execute with this object. So call stmt execute and as soon as this line will be called the data will be inserted to our database but there may be some error while inserting the row to the database so put this line inside an F and this will be evaluated to true if the data is inserted successfully so return true here that means user is created and inside else return false so hope you got it we first encrypted the password then we create then we created an statement we then bind the parameters to the sql query and then we executed the query so that's it for the video now in the next video we will create a script that will call this method to insert our user to database thanks for watching